action. Oh, what's happening, everybody? We're hanging out here at good old Kyle's house. There's Beth chilling out. They got power back on Thursday. It's been two days. There's Mike. Um, but, you know, Kyle's preparing for uh, what might be another storm uh, trucking on yeah. down. Never, never get a break. No, nope. hurricane season. I don't worry until it's like three or four days I'll away. About, about when they come out of Africa, that's when I start to worry. Yeah, he starts to worry <laughs> early. Anyway, he's just servicing the generators so yep. that they have uh, some power. And I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and give you a bonus video because so many of you were concerned about Kyle's crocodiles. So we're gonna go hang out uh, and show you the crocs real quick. They did good. By the way, there's Timmy. That's all you really need to see, people. The Incredible Hulk of Happiness. Yeah, we love Timmy. All right, Crocodile is on the way. All right, let's let that train. This is Camp Kennedy. All right, so here we are inside the compound, and it looks great. <laughs> it's uh, still here, yep. so it's a plus. So during the, the worst part of the storm, I mean, did you come out here and check things? I mean, what of did course. you see? I mean. You know, what were some of the, uh, I mean, uh, here's the greenhouse. Crocs were obviously all in the water. Right. Uh, they, they hunger in. Um, and as you'll see, these ponds have filled up substantially. So they were they were pretty pretty happy. I mean, what do they care? You know, if they're underwater, the wind's not gonna affect them one bit. So as long as it fills up, then they're- Here comes the Nile right here. Swimming right over to you us. You see how full I haven't run. Yeah. You haven't run a pump in like at a week. All, yeah. And again, with that other storm coming, I'm not gonna run water at all until this thing's gone. Gotcha. And I may have to pull water out again. Unreal. But the problem is in the summer, it tends to get a uh, film on it. Right, that's all right. They like it nice and it's swampy. It's amazing, when it rains, it clears it all up. So these guys did good. Uh, most of the wind would go right through this chain lake. It's yeah. such a strong chain link fence. And here's our big boy, Chubbs. Come on, boy. Come on. Where yeah, is he? Here, so. What he does, he just hunkers in the water in the day. So yeah, and it's bottom. really hot out, guys. So we probably aren't going to see any of the guys uh, rolling around out here. But yeah, I mean, even this stuff. Yeah, the temporary stuff. enclosures. The temporary enclosures have held up, so. And those doors stayed on? I would think that yeah. the doors might have blown off. I was thinking of taking them down, but then all of a sudden, you know, it wasn't going to be uh, coming our way. Wild. There she is. That's the Siamese? Uh, American. Oh, the American. My bad. So it's amazing with these natural enclosures, they shape it whatever they want. Whatever, whatever way they, they want it, huh? They got their own uh, feng shui thing going. So they had a pond in the middle, and apparently they didn't like that. But yeah, I mean, we we fared pretty well. The greenhouse held up fine. Um, obviously, it seemed like we did get pretty substantial winds, 90 to 100 mile per hour winds, and that's what it's rated for, but she held, so. Right on, let's so go. So good. Let's go inside and have a look at some of the critters in there. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a fire ant. Little bird. Ugh. We don't like fire ants here. The amazing too, though, is uh, with the hurricane, with all the water, they made these canals on either end. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. So now they just have a little swimming path between the ponds instead of having to cross over land. They're loving this heat right now. Oh, yeah. Super active. I think these are some of the most prettiest crocs you have, to be honest. They're gorgeous. These Orinocos are something else. We're going to take the pump off the greenhouse. Cool. So pretty cool. It's good to know that this uh, facility stood up to some of the storm. Now, obviously, if this were a, a bigger storm and or if it hit us directly, we would have had way more damage here. But um, yeah, it's a I good thing. Yeah, I talked to the uh, manufacturer that made the greenhouse for the new facility. They can build one to handle 150 mile per hour close. So that's wow. a Cat 4 close. And then you get a Cat 5, you just open it up. Wow. Insane. Here's some gators hanging out. That guy's getting big, man. <laughs> He's getting big in there. So get out of the quick in here. Yeah, but nice and warm. Didn't want to run the water until we got power back on. We just got power, so now I can run the pumps again. Did you come in here at all during the height oh, yeah. of the storm? You okay. did. What did it sound like? Wild. I mean, you've heard it on a windy day. Yeah. In here, and it sounds like it sounds like it's just gonna blow off. But sick. But were the and the crocs were just doing their thing, oh, huh? Yeah, they just hunker in the water and they're they're set. 
It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you got to think a lot of these crocodiles are found in areas where tropical systems are quite common. Right. Wow. So it's certainly not out of the realm for them to experience these these systems. Hey, what's going on here? You getting a little? Uh, yeah, she built a nest. She built uh, a nest. I mean, it's it's pretty common in single females even, and I don't know if it's just because we have other animals here, the the uh, males that are calling and whatnot. Maybe it simulates her, but uh, yeah, she she decided to build a nest. This is a Philippine? No, this no, is, this is the, the uh, cataphractus. Oh, the that's right, the African snout. slender snout. Slender snout. Wild. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous crop. I love that crop, man. That thing is beautiful. You see, they're ready to eat, so I'll be feeding tomorrow. Awesome, man. Good deal. So there you have it. Everyone was asking about your place. Uh, <laughs> I know, I've been MIA. Yeah, but. that's all right. Everyone's worried about you, man. So it's good that we uh, got a bonus video. Uh, it is hot in this greenhouse, oh, sure. huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it I gets very hot. It gets very hot in the greenhouse. So I think we're going we're gonna to close up shop and uh, get out of this sweat shop hot box. Yep. Yeah. Got more generators to, uh, to attend to. to the next storm. Yeah, great. All right, Kyle. Thanks, man. Glad you did good, buddy. All right, everybody. And if you like what you're seeing here in Camp Cannon, go on over to the patreon.com slash Camp Cannon. Help support Camp Cannon. Become a Patreon. Uh, and also, as you know, Kyle and I are going to be doing some fun things with this property in the, in the future. So keep your eyes peeled for announcements when we're ready to do private tours. All right, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye.